It is new information on a story that started as breaking news on WTVA 9 News just a couple of days before the new year. A local bank holdup that led to a very public arrest. And now we know what the punishment will be for the crook. Let's go live to WTVA's Chris Knowles in Tupelo with the outcome of what is now a closed case. I want to take you back to December 30th. You may remember this story. Uh, police responded to a bank robbery in Verona at the Renaissance Bank. That is right off of Raymond Avenue. No one was hurt, but one man got away with $4,700. But as you can see with this video, his run from the law did not last too long. The robber made his way onto the Natchez Trace Parkway and it ended up that same day here on Bryan Drive in West Tupelo, which runs right by Thomas Street Elementary. Officers found the cash and the gun used in the holdup. They arrested this man, 57-year-old Antonia Cannon of Shannon. Well, Cannon on Monday went to a federal court where a judge gave him a 63-month sentence in prison. Well, more than five years behind bars for that robbery. It'll be the second time for Cannon to spend time in prison for a bank holdup. A judge in the late 1960s gave him nearly 60 years in federal prison for another bank robbery. I'm here in Tupelo. Chris Knowles, WTVA 9 News. Back to you, Craig.